Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juice Lachey. If you don't know already, come on, shimmy with me, shake with me. Tall girls, I hope you didn't think I forgot about you because I would never, ever, ever forget about you. Tall girls, if there are any specific videos that you want to see from me, please go ahead and leave that in the comments box below. I love to hear from you guys. So anyway, let's get into what we're really here for. Today, I am going to be trying on some American Eagle pants slash jeans for you guys. Why American Eagle? Because every single time that I tell someone, oh my gosh, I have, you know, troubles finding jeans that fit me, they always say American Eagle. My friends tell me American Eagle. It's like, you know what? Let me see what the hype is all about. American Eagle used to be a store that I shopped at a lot in high school, except I didn't buy their pants. But I'm really curious to see what it's all about. So I have seven pairs of pants for you guys. And I spent a total of $299. They were having a sale when I bought this haul. And I will say that their jeans without any sales going on are a little bit pricey, but jeans, you can look at them almost like as an investment because jeans you usually carry for a long period of time. Now, is it worth it though? when it comes to American Eagle jeans. We're gonna see today, we're gonna see if they also pass the length test. Okay, tall girls, I know that's why you're really here. So we're about to get started. And just for context, I wanna let you guys know I'm six feet tall. So let's get into it, but one segundo, pump the brakes. Let's look at something real quick. What I want you to do is go ahead and look at the subscribe button. If it's red, then um, you have some work to do. Please make sure that you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And while you're in that vicinity, you might as well hit that bell notification button so that you will always be up to date on my newest uploads. So guys, let's get into it. So first up, we have these Kirby High Rise Jeggings. They have a nice amount of stretch. This is in a size four. It has four buttons. Fairly light wash, and this is definitely cropped. I wanted it to be cropped. Actually, they had the option of extra long. I got this one regular because the bottom looks like this. And I thought this feature of the jean would be more nicely seen when it's cropped rather than full length. By the way, American Eagle, they usually have this design at the back of their jeans, so you usually know it's like an American Eagle pair of jeans. All right, guys, here are the jeans. Um, definitely some pros and cons here. Pro is that they were really easy to get on. They are super, super stretchy and comfortable. Like, I can legit do squats in these jeans or jeggings, I should say. However, they're not doing much to your girl's waist, okay? Like, where is the accentuation? It's kind of making me look straight. And then also, the booty is not being flattered. The booty is not looking that great. But I actually really like the design of these jeans. I like the buttons. I like the um, cut right here. I think it's really cute, and it's different from your typical regular standard jean. I purchased it in regular instead of long or extra long because I wanted it to be this length. I wanted it to be cropped so you can see this feature better and it can sit on the, the leg better. So next up, I have this houndstooth pants. This is a size small. It didn't come in number sizes. This didn't come with like the long or extra long option. It's a really stretchy material. Almost feels like pajama material. It has these big pockets in the front with buttons. So hopefully this fits cute. This I'm gassed right now. I'm gassed. Guys, look at these pants. They're so cute. They're so comfortable. They're doing something to the booty. I mean, let's face it. I could definitely see this with some white skimpies. I can see this with loafers. I can see this with slide-ons. I love the pattern. Perfect for fall. I can see myself wearing this with a leather jacket. I can see myself wearing this with a fur vest. I really love how comfortable this is. Like I said, it looks like pajama material and it feels like pajama material and they're staying in my closet next up we have these auburn high-rise jeggings by the way for those of you who don't know jeggings are a mix of jeans and leggings put together so they have the jean look but they're they tend to be very stretchy like a legging perfect color for fall and by the way i got this in long so i'm really excited to see how this is gonna fit because this is the first long item I'm trying on from this haul. All right, guys, here are these Auburn jeggings. Uh, number one, let's talk about the length, honey, because we know 
why we're really here. It passes the length test. They don't have the bunch up. So if you were looking for this to be even longer, you would have to order an extra long. These happen to be tighter than the first size four that I tried on. I did read in a lot of reviews, like when I was buying these jeans, that the sizing does vary per jean. Like even if you wear a size four in one jean, you may have to size up or down in another jean. So it's not gonna be like consistent all the way through. Again, guys, I'm not satisfied with what it's doing to my hips. Low key Fashion Nova has jeans that will accentuate your hips. Like even if you don't really have lips, lips wow okay even if you don't really have hips like it gives you that illusion american eagle I, like i'm not getting that accentuation at all it's making me look really straight which is the shape i try my best to avoid so next up we have these black jeggings yes jeggings once again size four this one i got in an extra long so i'm really curious to see if there's a bunch of action going on at the bottom of the pants american eagle now this is more like it okay this is what i was asking for this whole time here we have a very 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 basic high waist pair of black jeans but they're just doing a little something to me okay i just love the fit this one was very easy to get into very, very comfortable and movable. Just look at my legs. Just, just check this out. One thing I will say about these pants is for an extra long, I am surprised that it doesn't fit a little bit longer than the pants that I had that were long, which were the Auburn ones. My theory is that because this is so much more high-waisted, it literally like goes a little bit over my belly button. My theory is that that's where the length is going. It's not really being added to the bottom, if that makes sense. I think that if this was like a low rise pair of jeans and I ordered it an extra long, I would see that bunch up. But I'm really loving the fit. Like, can you guys see, can you, can you see the booty? Everyone should have a few pairs of black jeans in their closet because it literally goes with everything. And eventually they get washed out, so hey, it doesn't hurt to have a few in your arsenal. So next up, we have these pants that pretty much feel like linen pants. Again, a size four. Um, I got these in a long. I'm really liking this olive color. There is a difference here between the textures of the pockets and then the rest of the pants, which I really like. I think it's, you know, giving me that monochromatic different shades of olive vibe and I'm all the way here for it low-key high-key I'm actually feeling them like I feel like this is giving me almost like a little bit of a like a militant vibe but like in a sexy way but in a casual way like it's just all in one they come cuffed like this but I uncuffed one of them so I uncuffed this leg and this leg is cuffed up twice so I just wanted you guys to see the difference and if you fully uncuff this pant, this is the length that we're getting to. And again, this is a long, this is not an extra long. So again, it's hitting that mark where, you know, I can actually consider it a long pant. But if you're trying to have it cuffed and still be long, then you would probably have to order an extra long. But I don't really know if it really goes past that point in terms of length. I like the crop look because I would rather wear something like this with like a a boot that comes up to here anyway. Let me get in close so y'all can see. I can admit it's not doing much for the booty. It's not doing that much for the hips at all. But the, the two-tone got me, guys. The two-tone is what sold me on this. Next up, peeps, we have this high-rise jegging. It's in this really nice, soft, faded blue-gray color. Um, what I like about these is the color, actually. That's really what got me. This is a super stretch jean size four. This one is an extra long. So, yeah, this, this, I'm expecting this to be a little bit longer, okay? Alrighty, peeps, um, set the bar here and they met me here. I got it because the color, okay? I really loved it. However, um, where do I even start? So this is an extra long and um, it fits just like the Auburn one, which is a long. So I was expecting it to fit a little bit longer. That's one. Two, it's actually tighter than the Auburn one. The Auburn one is a size four. Actually, everything I got was a size four. This one is a size four, but it fits 
even tighter. It's not that comfortable, even though it's supposed to be a jegging, it's really not as stretchy. I know I said it's tighter, but I can tell even just by the material that it's not as stretchy and movable, even though it's supposed to be a jegging. And of course, not doing nothing for my hips, not doing nothing for the booty, and I'm not for it. I feel like there's a trend going on. The trend is just, it's not flattering my body type. There are certain things that I look for in jeans and in pants. One of those things is the accentuation of the butt and the hips usually and the comfort. You know what? I feel like there's definitely pros and cons that you have to weigh. Last but certainly not least, okay, we have mom jeans. They are ripped, but they have like the jean underneath. So even though they're ripped, you actually won't see my leg i got this in a regular i didn't get this in a long or extra long because i like my mom jeans fitting with a little bit of a prop this is an actual jean by the way so it doesn't have much it has a little bit of a stretch but it doesn't have like a stretch as a jegging would american eagle had a lot of mom jeans that i liked i do have mom jeans they're levi's hella stiff that's because they're like actually vintage but this is hella Movable. I love the fact that my legs are exposed even though these are ripped jeans because I do want to wear these when it gets really cold and I actually don't want my legs to be exposed and I actually don't want to wear leggings underneath that will show. I'm definitely going to wear these with some booties with a little chunky heel right up to here, you know, so you can see this detail or whatnot, you know, just a little... Just a little something light. And this pair of jeans is sitting at the right length. All right, guys, so I'm gonna change out of these jeans and give you a proper ending. Okay, guys, we got some discussing to do. I'm gonna probably give you a pro to every con, a con to every pro. Pro, American Eagle tends to have really, really, really comfortable pants. If you're gonna be walking around in pants all day, the least that they can be is comfortable. It was just one pair of pants that I didn't find too comfortable, and I'm sure if it were a little bit looser, it would be fine. Con, the length is really not that impressive. I was expecting so much more, and the way that people ran to rave about American Eagle jeans, every time I tell them I have a hard time finding jeans that fit, I would have just thought, you know, it would just be a little bit more fabric. I guess I'm comparing it to past hauls that I've done and past places I've ordered where the length was actually impressive. I'm also considering girls who are taller than me. There are girls who are 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", 6'5". If I can't find things that fit me or if things are just fitting me, then how much more people who are taller than me? So I'm glad it fits me, but at the same time, girls who are taller than me, I wouldn't like run and say American Eagle jeans are gonna fit you the best. Now, another pro for these jeans is that I actually believe that the price fits the quality and the quality fits the price. I feel like American Eagle jeans are actually durable and I feel like they would withstand the test of time. They feel like they're good quality. They don't feel like they're gonna get worn out just over like a few washes. It's not those kinds of jeans. So at least you're getting what you pay for. But a con is that for me, it really wasn't flattering my body type. Now, if you are someone who's naturally curvy, I don't think that this is gonna be an issue for you. I'm trying to accentuate my butt, I'm trying to accentuate my hips and my waist. And American Eagle Jeans was like, eh, like, no, 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 not today. Not today. I do think that they're stylish. I guess that's another pro. I would definitely still order from American Eagle. It's just going to be a place I go to if I want a particular thing. What do you guys think about the pants that I tried on today? Do you like them? If you did, what was your favorite one? What do you look for in jeans? Where do you buy your jeans? Especially if you're tall, let me know down in the comments box below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you tuning in and I will see you guys in my next video because I expect that you turn on your bell notification button so you gonna get that pop up when I upload next and it's just gonna be on your phone and it's just gonna be a pop it's gonna be a notification you're just gonna see and you're gonna have it so you're gonna know all right with that being said deuces